In this lesson we'll touch on doing floors by perimeter and also moving um, floor coverings that we've already put in to another location. So basically to do a floor by perimeter this will give you the uh, area of the house but it will be over all the brickwork so um, I'm sorry over all the timber frame not the brickwork so basically if we come back to what we have here we select our floors and then go to floor by perimeter we could then say we want to do a concrete slab and we want to do a concrete slab on the ground floor so all we have to do is to pick a point and you'll notice that it just basically went in. Now, what I want to show you is um, if I put a camera in or have a look at this in 3D, you will see that basically what you've got there is see how the floors bleed into one another. So what the problem is, is we've put uh, carpet and tiles in by using the floor by room option and then we've put another floor on the same location using the perimeter option. Now what happens is in 3D you'll see that the bleeding is happening because they're both on the same location and on the same level. So what I do is basically I'll just undo that and I'll take the floor coverings out. Okay, so now I'm back to basically carpet and uh, tiles and I'll come back to the 2D plan view view. If I now go to my view filter and turn off the walls and come to my notations and turn off my schedule marks and scheduling and text, so I just get rid of the cluttering, you'll notice that here are here are the floors, that's all that's left. So what I do now is I go to my building locations and I've set up this other um, location called GF floor cover. The GF is short for ground floor. You'll notice that I've given it a number of 110 so that just so that it sorts it in in order how I want to view it and I've given it a floor level of 310 which is 10 millimeters higher than my ground floor floor level. So what happens now is if I go back to my ground floor and I put a window around all of that right click and duplicate to locations I can then select the ground floor floor cover and what that does is copies all the floor coverings to this that new location. Now while I've got it highlighted if I right click and delete it I'm deleting the floor coverings off the ground floor. So what I've done is I've copied them to another location and I've left it onto um, I've left the floor coverings onto another location leaving no floor coverings on the ground floor. So now if I go back and I'll just display all so I'll turn the walls back on. Now if I go and start putting in my floor by perimeter or floor by picking points so we'll just do the perimeter first and just pick the concrete slab again and pick it and then we'll go on back and have a look at that in 3D you'll see that it doesn't bleed anymore. Why? Is because I've moved the carpet and the floor tiles up 10 millimeters, which is 10 millimeters above the concrete slab, and now I've got the ability of turning on and off floors on different locations. Whereas before, I would have had the concrete slab and the floor coverings all on the one location. So therefore, using my view filter, I can't turn off floors on just one location. I can't sort of um, distinguish between them. Now what I can do is I can untick all locations and go ground floor floor covers, display none and that will turn off the carpet and tiles leaving the concrete. Or I can go back to my view filter and then untick that again and go ground floor, turn off the floors floor cover on the ground floor, turn on the floors and there you have it so I can manipulate between the two lots of floors. Okay, the next uh, lesson we'll touch on doing floors by picking points. Thank you.